Was there an attempted assassination on Trump? No, that's a little bit old, that chart. That chart's a couple of months old, and if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Did the Democrats have a hand in it? The shocking incident occurred on Saturday, July 13th, 2024, during a campaign rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. Former U.S. President Donald Trump was shot, leading to chaos, sorrow, and a wave of conspiracy theories. During the attack, Trump suffered a gunshot wound to his ear that tragically resulted in the death of a spectator in the shooter, while leaving two others critically injured. The gunman, identified as 20-year Thomas Matthew Crooks from Bethel Park, Pennsylvania, fired shots from a factory rooftop located 150 meters away from where Trump was speaking. Again, shot by uh, one of the attendees at the rally. You can, you can see, the, see the person there on the rooftop. Uh, this is after the, uh, the Secret Service, it appears, has already uh, shot and killed this person. They're down on that rooftop. That's where Elena Train is seeing that huge, huge uh, police presence right now. There's every law enforcement agency that you can imagine is at that scene uh, trying to collect some of the evidence. She saw as well, Elena also saw an ambulance there. So it appears, again, as part of the, the, the crime scene investigation, all of that is being done uh, as we speak. In a moment, Trump was seen taking cover on the ground amidst the gunfire while being shielded by Secret Service agents. Despite his injury, Trump raised his fist in defiance as he was escorted off stage and into an awaiting vehicle with supporters chanting, USA and fight. On Truth Social Platform, Trump expressed gratitude to his well-wishers for their thoughts and prayers attributing his survival to divine intervention. He displayed resilience and strength while offering condolences to the victims and their families. After the incident, with Trump's social media was abuzz with conspiracy theories. People were questioning if the attack was planned, if there was a security breach, or if Crooks was manipulated as part of the scheme. The timing of the attack after Project 2025 was leaked made people suspicious. Did Trump want to gain sympathy? Critics pointed out the delay in the Secret Service's response. Three minutes passed before they took action. Let's talk about the shooter. If this was an assassination attempt, wouldn't Crooks have used a weapon he knew how to handle? The fact that he missed times hints at something that meets the eye. What about Trump's injury? Some believe he survived because he moved at the moment. Experts argue that multiple missed shots can't simply be explained by a slight head movement. Think about Trump's connection to Vince McMahon, known for orchestrating stage fights in WWE. Could this have been a planned show? The blood from Trump's ear, which some say looks like a blade cut, raises doubts. These rallies are heavily monitored by agencies. How did someone with a gun manage to go unnoticed? Why was there no blood spatter, no damage to Trump's white shirt collar and no major injury? An astonishing one third of Democrats find it believable that Trump could have staged the assassination attempt. Despite being broadcasted on TV and the unfortunate loss of a firefighter, there is a belief among many that the entire incident was staged. Influential individuals such as Dimitri Melhorn, an associate of Joe Biden, have contributed to these speculations by labeling it as a false flag operation of strategies employed in Russia. Some hosts on MSNBC have gone far as to raise doubts about whether Trump was targeted with gunfire. The poll's findings shocked many, with social media users expressing disbelief and criticizing the faction of Democrats promoting these theories. According to his campaign, Donald Trump is reportedly fine. While he has yet to make further comments, the incident has undoubtedly sparked a storm of speculation and debate. Let's delve deeper into the timeline and the implications of the shooting. Reports indicate that there was a significant delay in the Secret Service's response. Normally, in such high-stakes situations, the protection detail is expected to react within seconds. The delay, therefore, has raised questions about whether there was a lapse in security protocols 
or if something more deliberate was at play. Security experts have weighed in, suggesting that an immediate response would typically neutralize a threat before any shots are fired. This anomaly fuels theories about the event being staged. The notion that Crooks, a seemingly unremarkable 20-year-old with no clear motive, could plan and execute such an attack further complicates the narrative. Understand the gravity of this event, it's useful to compare it with past political attacks. History shows that high-profile figures are often targets of well-orchestrated plans with clear motives. The randomness and lack of substantial background on Crooks stand in stark contrast to other incidents, adding layers of doubt and suspicion. Trump's long-standing relationship with Vince McMahon, the mastermind behind WWE's stage spectacles, cannot be ignored. McMahon is known for creating realistic, yet entirely fabricated, violent scenarios. Trump's ability to incorporate similar elements into his public appearances isn't far-fetched, especially considering his penchant for drama and media manipulation. Experts have scrutinized the nature of Trump's injury. A graze wound from a bullet typically leaves distinct patterns and blood spatter. However, the wound on Trump's ear and the blood trail raise questions about its authenticity. The blood flow appears more consistent with a superficial cut than a gunshot wound, leading some to believe in the possibility of a staged injury. The timing of the Project 2025 leak adds another dimension to the speculation. Project 2025, a highly controversial plan, had just been exposed potentially threatening Trump's campaign. The shooting incident, occurring immediately afterward, conveniently shifted public attention and garnered sympathy, which could be seen as an attempt to divert scrutiny from the leaked project. Examining the security setup at the rally, it's evident that federal agencies meticulously control these events. The idea that an armed individual could infiltrate such a tightly secured area without detection is implausible. This oversight suggests either an unprecedented security failure or a deliberate allowance, both scenarios being equally troubling. As we piece together the events and the numerous inconsistencies, it's crucial to approach this with a critical mind. Whether you believe the attack was genuine or staged, the importance of scrutinizing official narratives remains paramount. The truth often lies hidden beneath layers of misinformation and spectacle. In the wake of this event, Donald Trump's future rallies and public appearances will undoubtedly be under intense scrutiny. The implications of this incident extend beyond mere conspiracy theories, touching on issues of security, media manipulation, and political strategy. Stay informed, stay critical, and continue questioning the narratives presented to you. As we await more details, one thing is clear. This event has left a lasting impact, stirring emotions and controversy alike. Stay tuned for the latest updates on this unfolding story. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates on major events and in-depth analysis.